I think of a signal as just um, uh, a sequence of numbers, sometimes just the number zero, 01, that tell you, uh, tell you what you're hearing. If I was an audio engineer, I would have a, maybe a symphony, and that symphony gets broken up into little uh, short pieces of time. And in that piece of time, the symphony is the music. We're hearing different certain notes. So it's all that information that has to get onto the CD. And uh, the same would be true of television. The video camera is taking a picture constantly in time. The picture itself is broken into tiny little pixels. They're called pixels. And each pixel has a gray from light to dark or three color. In color television, we've got three colors to transmit. So there's a lot of information. And it's actually more information, too much information, uh, to send quickly. So part of signal processing is reduce the information, get uh, compress the signal. The signal is the whole football game, whatever we're taking a video of, and that information is too much to broadcast in fast time, so the viewers can watch the football game. But if you compress the information, you, that makes it possible. So the question is how to compress it. You want to do better than just keep this pixel and then the next one and then the next one and, and, and throw away some. We want, maybe we want to compress by 32 to 1 or 16 to 1. So we want our picture, we will only send 1 16th of the information. So the question is, how do you, what, what information do you save? What do you send? And uh, uh, the, uh, the standard for images has been JPEG on, uh, in the past, has been JPEG, and that uses the idea of Fourier series, cosine transforms. So we're talking about transforms here. Transform takes your original function, your original information, and expresses it in a different language where you can compress it. And the new idea uh, was something called wavelets, and that's what my part, my contribution was to help understand. The engineers are very talented, so they had good ideas. The, the, my part was to express those ideas is in mathematical terms so that others could use them, so that they could be programmed. So if I give you the idea of wavelets, uh, everybody understands what cosines look like, the cosine function, the usual sinusoid function. Wavelets are strange looking functions. I gesture with my hand to show you the graph of a wavelet has many wiggles and, and it's, uh, short but fast. It's like an earthquake. But if you combine many of these wiggles, you get a nice smooth function. So that was the problem, that these wiggly functions, and I'll say their name again, wavelets, not waves, but wavelet, short wave, uh, were quite remarkable new functions. Not cosines, not related to cosines, but still constructible. And uh, you could express signals using these functions. You could, then you would send how much of each wavelet is the information you send. And then at the other end, the receiver puts back the wavelets with their coefficients, adds them up, reconstructs the signal, and you have your image. So cosine function we understand, ordinary waves. The wavelet function, wavelet, small wave, is, has fast oscillations, but 
it, it stops. It doesn't go forever. And that's the advantage of wavelets. The cosines, JPEG, the, the uh, signal, it, signal processing, image processing, had the problem that, and you may have seen this in newspaper picture, you can see uh, blocks of the picture, separate blocks. And that's because um, one set of cosines doesn't exactly connect to a second set of cosines. If you have a very poor image, you'll see it divided into little squares. And of course, that's not good. The eye is hoping for a nice, smooth uh, image of a, of, on television or on, uh, on the on in internet. So the wavelets, by they are overlapping. So maybe I, with my hands again, show one wavelet, and then a second wavelet is just shifted a little bit, and then shifted a little bit, shifted a little. So these wavelet functions are, uh, they, they overlap each other, and you don't see that artifact of a, of a jump, of, of a break in the, in the picture. The idea developed quite a lot in France. Uh, French engineers, French mathematicians were at the beginning of wavelet theory, and now it's worldwide. For mathematicians, it's amazing to see uh, whole new ideas of whole new functions. We're very familiar with the fun classical functions of the last two centuries, and now here have appeared wavelet functions. And I can tell you that there is always another problem. And the problem with wavelets is in a two-dimensional picture, they like horizontal and vertical uh, uh, directions. But if you're taking a picture of uh, any shape, of a circle, for example, uh, it, it is, looks the same in all directions. So the current problem is wavelets in two dimensions or wavelets in three dimensions. I just want to say that applications uh, can provide really good mathematical questions and, uh, and, and you have the pleasure of seeing the ideas actually uh, used. So pure mathematicians, I'm partly pure, partly applied, pure mathematicians have the pleasure of choosing their own problem. Applied mathematicians have not the pleasure. They are given the problem but then they have the pleasure of seeing the ideas uh, put to use. So that's a little word about the pure and applied uh, difference. Uh, my own work has become more and more applied as uh, time passes. I sh having mentioned JPEG for which used cosine transforms, on, on your, on your, when you do PDF on the internet, you get an image. So the wavelets were the functions chosen for JPEG 2000. So that at a certain time, at the year 2000, uh, there was a switch from the cosine functions from old JPEG to uh, the wavelet functions for, for this century. So the questions for future applications of wavelets um, I guess that the big, one big application is to um, uh, earthquakes, sudden events in, in nature. Earthquake being a possible event, sometimes a man-made explosion to, in, in looking for oil or gas. Uh, so that uh, if you're digging an oil well, or looking for natural gas, you get a lot of signals back out of, your, out of the instruments that you put in the earth. And you're looking, for, uh, you're looking for jumps. And wavelets are ideal to find jumps. 
cosines are perfect for a nice, smooth symphony. But for a drum or an explosion, uh, you, want, you don't want cosines. You want uh, functions that can change suddenly. So that's the general area where wavelets have become superior.